Logitech G Hub is a necessary piece of software if you use their gear, but are you using it to its full potential? My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about how you can make macros in G Hub. Recording macros on G Hub is actually a rather simple task. The first thing that you have to do is launch G Hub by going to your taskbar, clicking this icon and then double clicking G Hub. We'll wait for the program to launch up. And as you can see, uh, G Hub is open and showing me my connected mouse. So I only have one Logitech peripheral at the moment and that's what I'm going to use to set macros. So I'll click on it and then you will see three menus here. You'll see sensitivity, assignments and lighting. Of course, sensitivity won't exist on something which isn't a mouse, but you'll see a different control there. Under the assignment tab, head over to macros. And this is where we can start creating new macros by just clicking this create new macro button. This will open up a new window. So I'm going to name this macro as test macro and hit enter. Now there are four types of macros that you can create in G Hub. First one is no repeat. So you press the key and whatever macro that you record runs once. Second is repeat while holding. As the name suggests you, as long as you're holding the button that you've assigned to the macro, the macro will keep running. The third one is toggle so your macro will loop continuously until you toggle it on or off by pressing the button and the last one is sequence so you press it to play them press it once to play the macro and then you can press and hold it to repeat while the section that you're holding the macro on so it really gives you a lot of control in terms of what you want to do with your macros we're going ahead with a simple no repeat macro in this case and now i have different ways i can create macros or actually add the things that are going to be used in this macro uh, i'll click on the start now button and now i can record keystrokes i can add text or emojis i can take an action i can launch an application i can do system events like turning it my PC on off adjusting the volume things like that or I can add a simple delay for this demonstration I'm just going to go ahead and record a small macro and what this macro does is that it is control shift and some other arbitrary key like B and as you can see I've pressed them for a bit too long so I can stop recording and now I can go ahead and uh, delete these keys using the delete key on my keyboard so what does this tell us this tells us that the macro presses control then it presses shift and then it presses b once you're done recording your macro macro uh, I, if i want i can just go ahead and launch an application why not uh, launch application create new it will ask you for the exe file let's say it opens up blender yeah that's it that's the file created. Blender. All right. So yeah, um, I have set it to launch Blender. And then uh, let's, no, not action. Let's do something from system. Uh, lighting, cycle maximum brightness. This is just an example. And then I can click save. This morning has a key down without a key up for the same key. Are you sure you want to save it? Which means I'm pressing B, but I'm not letting it go. So that's fine. Yes, I want to save it. And now I have my test macro. Now, all I have to do to assign it is I can just simply drag and drop it onto any button on my mouse that is adjustable. And then I'm good to go. I can also do it in another view or I can do it with G shift where all of these buttons are essentially unassigned. And that's how you create and assign macros in G Hub. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. Or if you have any thoughts to share on this video, drop a comment below and I'll be down there talking to you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.